Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're going to talk about my top favorite nude neutral lip colors. Pretty much every single month in my favorites videos I talk about my favorite lip color or lip colors of the month and 99% of the time they are neutral or nude lip colors. In the beauty world particularly we are very accustomed to hearing the phrase nude lipstick or nude lip color and sometimes when I use that phrase I will get a little bit of pushback from people saying oh that's not nude that's brown that's not nude that's peach and I it's both a nude lip color is really just any color that could be naturally occurring so what's nude to me may not necessarily be nude to you and vice versa so a super deep chocolatey brown shade, that's not going to be a nude on me, but that doesn't mean that it's not a nude lipstick because it will be the naturally occurring tones on someone else. So I just want to sort of throw that out there. That's why a lot of the time when I say nude lipstick, sometimes I'll put it in air quotes just because what does it even mean? Uh, a neutral lip color or a nude lip color or a naturally occurring lip color it's my favorite kind of colors. I just wanted to sort of throw that out there at the beginning in case you see one of these colors and you think that would be pink on me or that would be brown on me. I don't disagree at all. Nude is going to be a little bit different for everyone. We can also just say neutral I think. So one of the most common questions I get asked over and over again is what's your favorite lipstick or what's your favorite nude lipstick? So I thought I would compile some of my recent favorites. I have done favorite nude lipstick videos in the past and I'm betting that a lot of those colors have been discontinued and you know maybe they've been replaced with new favorites. So I have my top 10 favorite go-to nude nude neutral lip colors here. We have a range of finishes. I have a couple of tinted lip oils, no surprise there, some lip glosses. I have a liquid lipstick, some different finishes in bullet lipsticks. We have a huge range of prices here too from $5 all the way up to close to $30. So there's definitely going to be a little something for everyone no matter what your preferred formula is or what your budget is. Hopefully I have something here that's going to be interesting to you and hopefully will work for you as well. When it comes to these products I am sharing my favorite shade of course but I also really truly love the formulas on all of these as well. If the color doesn't seem like quite the right fit for you, I still highly recommend the formula so you can always go check that product out. Maybe browse the other shades and see if you might find something that is just a little bit better fit. I've got some drugstore, I've got some indie brands, I've got some high-end, mainstream, just a little bit of everything here. These are not going to be shown in any particular order. I'm going to go through and show you the lip swatches and give you a little bit of information about each one of these products. First up is the Wander Beauty Lip Retreat Lip Oil in the shade Skinny Dip. This has a slanted doe foot applicator and this is priced at 22 US dollars. Next up we have the NARS Oil Infused Lip Tint in the shade Primal Instinct. This has a flat paddle style applicator and this one's priced at 26 US dollars. Next from Milani we have the Ludicrous Lip Gloss in the shade Teen Spirit. This one has a flat pointed paddle style applicator and it's priced at $8.99. Now we have the ColourPop Luxe Gloss in the shade Slow Motion. 
You can tell the label's getting nice and worn off, so that's how you know it's a well-loved product. This one has an oversized cupped doe foot applicator, and it's priced at $8. Next we have the Chapstick Total Hydration Vitamin Enriched Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Blushed Bronze. This is a squeeze tube applicator and it's priced at $4.99. This one's from Minted. It's the semi-matte lipstick in the shade Peach Please. And this one's priced at $16.50. Next from Propa Beauty, we have the shade Finesse. And this one's priced at $12. Next from Huda Beauty is the Demi Matte Lipstick in the shade Day Slayer. This is the mini size. The full size is priced at $20 and it has a small curved doe foot applicator. Next up from Colored Rain, this is the Satin Lipstick in the shade Serene. This one's priced at $17 US dollars. Lastly, we have the Huda Beauty Power Bullet Matte Lipstick in the shade First Kiss. This one is $25. I also want to quickly show you some arm swatches of these shades. I find it really helpful when there are a lot of really similar shades, which these without a doubt are some very, very similar shades. Of course, they're all neutrals and they're all my favorites, so you know. I think it's really helpful to see them all swatched together, so I want to show you some arm swatches. That way you can really get a feeling for how these different shades, different undertones, and different finishes look all side by side. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my current favorite nude slash neutral lipsticks. I would love to hear what your favorites are, whether we share some favorites or there's something that's not in my top 10 that's definitely on yours. I always love to hear what you're enjoying, what you're loving. I take a lot of your recommendations and often your favorite things become my favorite things too. So thank you for all the great recommendations, for all the great comments. I truly appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hopefully YouTube doesn't demonetize me for saying nude so much. <laughs> that could definitely happen. I had a video demonetized for talking about the naked palettes once. No lie. True true story. That happened. Um, anyway, I sent it for review and they reviewed it and it was fine. I got my monetization back, but of all the wild stuff I've seen on YouTube and that's what gets... Anyway, concentrate. What? What was I going to say? But what am I even talking about? Either way, I'm going to... Either way, I did like a shoulder shimmy. I know, I have a tattoo that oh, I always get comments. Anytime you can see my tattoo in videos, people are like, oh my gosh, I can't believe. Yes, I have a very large, I have a lot, a lot tattoo. <laughs> I don't know. This is going to be all over the place. It's supposed to be a simple video. Me, I found a way to get sidetracked. Sometimes I zone out when I'm lip swatching. Because <laughs> you want to make sure you get a long enough clip, right? But then I just kind of like wander off in thought and I'm, my face like looks so weird in the footage. It's like 
30 seconds of me just like staring off into space. <laughs> when you have sparkly eyeshadow and sparkly earrings, it is super easy to get distracted. The skin is just really doing it for me today. I'm not trying to brag on myself or anything, but really this is tinted moisturizer and a little bit of pretty fresh concealer and I just feel like I am fresh and glowy and dewy. At least one good thing going for me in 2020. You gotta hold on to the little things in life, right? Like when you're having a good skin day, you just gotta, just gotta hold on tight to that, you know? I feel like people are taught, specifically women, but people in general are taught not to like compliment themselves because they're told that it's bragging. But I'm not going around telling people like, my skin's so much better than yours. I just look at myself in the mirror and I appreciate myself for what I see. You're having a good skin day. Good for you. You're looking great. You guys, practice that. Everybody go and do that. Today, later today, tomorrow, whenever you're feeling up to it. Just go give yourself a compliment. You know, gas yourself up a little bit. You deserve it. You know why? Because I love your face. Maybe just say that. If you can't think of anything, just say that. I love your face. Alright, anyway. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.